outliers welcome back to my youtube channel i am the pisayo and i'm a tourism development advocate as well as a travel and lifestyle brand so today i'm really excited so i i you know asked a few of the travel bodies i know that i've visited a few places that i haven't visited and i'm going to be sharing with you their experiences at this place so this place or today's video as you already know is kalaba I know uh, Calabar is one of the wonders of Nigeria. Even though it has not been stated in Wikipedia or Google or whatever, it's a place, it's a beauty to be. There's so many destinations there that I believe everyone should visit. So I have, you know, as I said, asked a few people to share more about their experiences, and I want you guys to listen and enjoy. So today, with me is Sam and Tayo. So it's Sam and Tayo, they've gone there. And they have different experiences. Everybody has different experiences, right? And I want you to learn from them. The first question I ask them is, what should people note before visiting Calabar? So, yeah. Hi, my name is Radio. I'm a filmmaker, photographer, a YouTuber, and a content creator. I would like to talk to you guys about visiting Cross River State. Some weeks ago, I visited Obudu with a few other creatives. And here are the things I think you should know before heading out to Obudu. It is very, very far. You can either go by road from Lagos or any other place you are, or fly into Enugu and go five hours from Enugu to Obudu by road. The second thing I want you to know is, when visiting Obudu, you should prepare for cold. You should take clothes along that can protect you from cold. It will be very cold and most of the time it's always foggy at night and very early in the morning and it trains a lot. The third thing I want to talk about visiting Obudu is you need to always park lights anywhere you're going to. Whether you're just touring or you're making content or videos or whatever it is you're doing, you should always try to be as light as, as possible so you can move faster and easily because you need to hike from one point to the other most of the time. The fourth thing I want to talk about is going to a place like Obudu, you don't want to go alone. You should do it with a group of people. It can get boring if you are alone in that kind of a place where there's absolutely almost no distraction. It's, it's just you and nature. Get a few friends along, let them tag along or organize something with them or join one of these tours by these tour operators and you enjoy yourself. But if you go alone or with just one person, your lover or something, it can be boring, except that is what you want. So. <laughs> Tayo said, <laughs> your lover. That was actually funny. What do you think? So I also asked them to recommend a few places that you guys should visit and I should visit too. So here is what they had to say. Hello everyone. My name is Sam Adeleke. I'm a travel consultant. My favorite state is Cross River State. Cross River. Oh my God. Cross River. Take me back to Cross River. All right, why do I like Cross River? Five places. Number one, Calabar. The amazing Calabar. Check out the marina. Check out the museums. Experience the Qua Falls. Experience the home of Mary Slessor. The one, the woman who stopped the killing of twins. Now move on from Calabar to Tinapa, just outside um, Calabar. Tinapa has such an alluring and inspiring and majestic ambience. I know some people will say, oh, what in Tinapa? It's abandoned. No, no. Tourism is not only about the beautiful sights and sounds. It's about places that inspire introspection, about places that inspire deep thinking, that places that stimulate your, your, your resolve to make a difference. From Tinapa, now let's drive out and keep going all the way to a place called Agbokim Waterfall. Just towards the right of the express, as if you are going to Cameroon. Agbokim is such a wonder to behold, with seven mouths and seven points of fall. You need to visit, especially during the rainy season, between May and September, to experience the glory of Agbokim Waterfall. From Agbokim, experience the Cross River National Park, OMG. For those of you who really love flora, that place has over 100 species of amazing plants. It's even as cheap as is. There, because it borders Cameroon. It's such, it's such, a, it's such, it's such a, a sight of yield. And finally, when you are done with the Cross River National Park, let's go to the mother of all destinations. Oh, boo, do. Come on, say it again. 
Obudu. Oh, when I go to Obudu, Obudu is like heaven on earth. I'm sorry, man, but that place is a place you need to visit once in your lifetime. Guess what? As you climb up the hill, meandering up the, the road, you are nestling with the clouds. It appears you are flying on eagle's wings. And then you see lush greenery. You see beauty like never before. You see calm, cold grass all the way. Come on. What is there not to love in Mount Budu? Cross River is just beautiful. If you're looking for a perfect place to get away from the urban rush and for the, from the fast-paced, rust race life, Cross River State is a place to be. Lastly, like I always say, I want the best and I want development for Nigeria. So I asked them, based on your visit there, what do you think needs to be developed? What do you think needs to be improved upon so that we can see the growth of tourism in Nigeria? And they said this. Obudu cattle ranch as a whole is literally gone. Nothing is running. Everywhere has been abandoned. A lot of the cabins are empty. All these things are getting weaker by the day. Revive this place because it is a very, very good tourist destination and it will generate a lot of income for the state and the country as a whole. Those are the few things I think you need to know before heading out to visit Opudu. And always have it at the back of your mind. Your safety is also important. Be careful on the rocks and on the mountains. When I agree with them, I even when Tayo mentioned the cable cars were not working. I know because I already made inquiries with the Obudukatsu run. That was very disappointing. I think that's the only one we have in Nigeria. And when it was functioning, you could see a lot of tourists like going there every month. Like it was a major tourist attraction. Now that these things are coming down, it's really sad. And you cannot grow at this race. We cannot grow at a race where infrastructure are deteriorating, where the things are supposed to enable growth are being taken away. So please, whoever is listening, let us you know, and let us change, let us develop. Things like this needs to be worked upon. We cannot expect tourists in our countries when we're not even prepared for them. So cable cars need to start working. I don't know, I feel like it's maybe shortage of funds, so they need more attention from the Calabar, or is it Calabar? They need more attention from the Cross River State Government. Maybe they're not getting enough attention or they're not funding as before, because there's obviously a reason why they are not using it. Maybe they are not using it for our safety, maybe because they feel like they don't have enough money to maintain it. One reason or the other, but it should be looked into. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful destination that we should not look down upon. This like, is like the major reasons why people go to some destinations in Canada, America, United Kingdom. Like, we have them. So please, let's improve on this. And <laughs> that's all I have to say. I hope this video was of some help to you. I hope this video also inspired your next travel plan if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section and if you have any places you want me to you know invite people to share more of their perspective on or if you want me to review any destination in the future let me know in the comment section or send me an email at hello at yes that'll be all for today guys i'll see you in my next video till next time do not forget to subscribe i always remember at the end <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Mm, Biko, mm, Biko. <laughs> subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends if you think it's worth sharing. And I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to stay awesome, stay inspired. Peace.